two viewers and random Walking Dead fans, so I'll be reviewing this, which is the Color Top 7 inch scale Negan figure, and here he is in his packaging. At the top, we get the AMC and TV series logos, while the bottom features the character's name and that it's based on the hit AMC TV series. That's nice, isn't it? The window is different from the past figure releases in that it's bigger and extends to the sides of the box, showing the figure and its accessories off nicely. The back has some great stylized images of the figure and is number 23A in this line of figures. So that does it for the box, let's open it up and take a look at the figure itself. Alrighty, here's Negan. The detail on here is fantastic, and it should be noted that this is the blood splattered variant of the figure. There's also one minus the red paint apps available as well. Looking at the face sculpt, this is undeniably Jeffrey Dean Morgan, and there's some amazingly sharp sculpting work put into this head alone, particularly with the eyes and cheeks to give him that Negan smirk. The beard is made from very fine paint apps, and these just work so well, and you can also make out some blood splattered all over his left cheek. The hair is combed back, just like in the show and features some nice moulding of strands and brush strokes but we do get a somewhat ugly join on the top of the head. Moving down to the torso, Negan is wearing his iconic black leather motorcycle jacket. The sculpting work is beautiful with the collar and lapel sticking up from it and the various silver buttons present as well. His red ascot again contains some superb sculpting work and is a completely separate piece which can be fully removed by popping the figure's head off where you can see a black t-shirt underneath where the ascot used to be. The majority of the torso is excellent and features the awesome creased and wrinkled material effect but the silver paint apps on the zippers are somewhat untidy but we do get a nice smearing of blood all over the chest. There's not much to say about the back, just that it features more of the creasing and wrinkling effect. The same can be said for the arms, which look great too, and even feature the silver zippers on the cuffs. The hands look very good, with the right hand being gloved and in a gun shooting pose, I guess, while the left is ungloved and open palmed with a bit of blood splatter on there too. Around the waist you can spot the belt from his jacket which has been buckled as well as the brown belt on his trousers which has the end of the belt curling out. The legs are just a basic grey to represent his trousers but feature a great texture design alongside that creasing and wrinkling and some more blood splatter while the back has pockets and stitching on the rear. The boots are black with some brilliant subtle scuff marks on there as well as some panelling and a few silver buckles. Finally the sole has some tread detail on the edges and the heels with a peg hole on the right foot and some legal Urbana fleur fire on there. Too. So overall for detail, aside from a few small problems, I think this looks excellent. Turning to articulation, with the ascot on, Negan can't fully move his head besides turning it a little bit. Without it, he can easily do the full 360 degree exorcist style twist, nod up and down, and pivot from side to side. The arms can move out to around 45 degrees and feature a full 360 on the shoulder joint too. There is another 360 on the elbow and this can bend in to around 90 degrees with a full 360 present on the wrist and this can pivot as well. Sadly there is no ab articulation so Negan can't do his habitual lean back which is a bit of a shame and the waist articulation is very stiff and restrictive too. The tops of the legs can pivot around while well, there's a 90 degree bend on the knee which can pivot as well and finally we get a further pivot at the top of each boot so not a lot of articulation but usually there is less movement found in these higher end collectibles as it allows for more detail and accuracy to be added Flipping over to accessories Negan of course comes with the love of his life Lucille and she is awesome this version comes complete with blood splatter paint apps, which are nice and glossy, making it look sickening in the right light. The barbed wire is sculpted sharply, and I appreciate the silver sheen in parts of it where the metal hasn't been completely covered in blood. The end is a little weak, however, and can bend out of shape easily. Alongside this, we get an alternate right hand, which again is gloved and sculpted into a pose which better allows it to hold Lucille. However, the gun shooting hand can hold her easily too. And there you have it. The figure is complete. And it looks badass. Completing the figure, we get a base which has the Walking Dead logo across the bottom. Sorry, no, the AMC Walking Dead logo. It's all about the brand recognition, isn't it? This is similar to the other bases seen in this wave. It's a great little staggered platform with some rough gravel and ground detail on the top, as well as a peg. This provides some great support for the figure when it's on display, and it just completes its overall look. And doing a quick size comparison, here we have Negan alongside some of the other figures in this range, and he fits in very well indeed.
So overall, what do I think of this figure? Well, I absolutely love it. I've been waiting for a TV series Negan figure ever since he made his first appearance and it has been more than worth the wait. The sculpting work is superb while the paint apps for the most part are excellent. The accessories are perfect and I'm so glad they did such a great job on Lucille too. Negan is my favourite comic book character in the series and he's quickly becoming my favourite in the show as well even if he has been slightly watered down. I have been able to get the comic book figure as he's extremely rare so I'm grateful that I finally own a version of Negan and what a great figure this is to portray one of my all-time favourite characters. I own some of the other figures in this line and they each look fantastic. I'm a really big fan of all of the Todd McFarlane figures released over the years and the Walking Dead figures have to be among some of the best ever produced. Here's hoping for a Glenn with an alternate smashed in head to display alongside this one. But what did you think of this figure? Let me know in the comments. And if you're new to my channel, please do hit subscribe for more videos and keep up to date with my upcoming reviews by liking my Facebook page and following me on Twitter as well. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.